thank everybody for coming out tonight and uh, join us and with the All Candidates Forum. I would like to um, be thankful that there's not a storm tonight, because I said in chat when it's either what's on TV or what the weather's like. I'm trying to get everybody out. So I'd like to thank you all for coming out and also to the candidates for coming out tonight. Thank you. Um, our uh, moderator for the evening is Don Hicks, so I would like to have a moment and call him up and he can start the All Candidates Forum. Thank you, Tonya. I'd like to welcome everyone to the 2014 All Candidates Forum for the District of Chowan for the election of councillors. Uh, this year, we have all six uh, count our positions will be up for election. Uh, the past years, there's the term is for three years, or has been for three years. Going forward, it's for four years. So that is, uh, that's the difference yeah, in this coming election. And before I introduce our candidates, uh, I just want to go over the format that we're going to be using tonight. Uh, it'll be the same as the one that was three years ago. So it'll start with the uh, opening comments uh, from the candidates. Uh, they have drawn uh, their speaking order, uh, so we will, we will follow that order. Uh, we will then go into the uh, speed format, uh, uh, which is each table of the six tables are numbered, and we have six candidates here tonight, and uh, they'll come uh, one to a table, and we'll give you 50 minutes to drill questions to them, ask, ask about issues in the community, or tell them about issues which they may not know about, but you can inform them. Uh, also ask about their their uh, vision for the district of Chetwin in the future and where where they see it's going. So you've got lots lots of questions to ask. So uh, now that I've I've sort of gone over the uh, the format, I guess, and then the end there'll be the closing comments at and uh, and then that'll be the end of the the forum. So uh, for introductions, I'm going to start out. Uh, with the two candidates that are not here, we have Laura uh, Gies, um, sorry, Weisgerber, and Daryl Schenkel uh, could not make it tonight. Um, we did offer um, uh, them to do an audio. Uh, Laura has taken it up, and uh, we will play that at the closing comments. So um, I'm going to introduce, uh, the, in reverse speaking order, uh, uh, our candidates for tonight, and uh, the candidate, uh, first candidate I'd like to introduce is uh, Rochelle Gaybreth. Rochelle? Hi. Uh, Alex Brownlee. Uh, Dale Tremblay. Uh, Clayton Basanowski. Uh, Ernest Fanner. And Mel Deck. And Mel gets the honor of speaking first. Hi, I'm Mel Deck. I've been living in Chetwin for the past 32 years. I've semi-retired. I worked at West Fraser for 30 years and I'm now running my own painting company uh, part-time. Um, I've a uh, vested interest in the art community. We have uh, grandchildren and uh, a daughter living here. Um, I look forward to working with any other elected officials that, that do get voted in. Um, thank you. Thank you, Mel. And our next speaker is Ernest Fanner. Good evening. I think I know just about everybody in here. My name is Ernest Fanner. Uh, first off, I'd like to thank my nominators, and although they're not here, Laverne Norris, Leo Sobolski, and Pastor Bill. Um, I really appreciate their continued support. Uh, I was born in Dawson Creek, and a couple days later, I came home and have called home Chetwind home ever since. My wife Lori and I have raised our three children here, and now they're off uh, university and living their own lives, so we've got a big empty nest syndrome going on. I attended school here in Chetwind. Um, I enjoy hunting, fishing, quadding, hiking, everything that's out of doors and everything that Chetwind has to offer. Uh, I attended school, yeah, here in Chetwind. Uh, I've worked at IGA, West Fraser, Canfer, and now I work for Spectre Energy. Here's my story as, as a counselor. 
After being elected for my first term, I thought, now what? Um, well, it didn't take long for staff to line up the training and uh, programs for all of us to get brought up on, up to speed on what councillors' roles and responsibilities are. I've attended the local government leadership academies that really showed uh, local governments how to operate, who is responsible for what, and how to stay out of trouble. I attended the North Central Local Government Association convention where I ran for a position of director at large. I didn't win, but it was a good experience anyway. Uh, I've attended three UBCMs, University of British Columbia Municipalities. It's a lot like what we're going to do tonight. It's kind of like speed dating. You get 15 minutes and you get to meet with the ministers and you try to put your uh, complaints or compliments forward to them and, and uh, plead your case. And It's just a real hectic thing that you can... But, and you do it over and over again for four days, but it's a, again, it's a really good learning experience. Uh, one of my appointments on, as councillor is the chair of the Health Service Committee. And it's been re very rewarding working with the doctors, staff, uh, Northern Health, and the other councillors. Um, one of the things that when I first got onto council, they said nothing happens in politics quickly. Well, I can tell you, you can get some things done in politics quickly. You just have to get all the pe right people and pulling in the right direction for a common goal, like we did with our medical clinic. It was the right thing to do and the right time to do it. I enjoy being on council, I enjoy debating issues. I always have the citizens of Chetwin's interests in the forefront, and I was always let those interests be known. I understand that we'll not always agree on everything, but I will put forward the interests that I believe are the best for Chetwin. I look forward to working with council and the members of the community over the next four years and uh, I look forward to molding the community for the next four years and for the, probably setting the foundation for the next 20. I'd like to also thank all the other candidates for letting their names stand and, and running, and I'll enjoy the opportunity to talk to everybody tonight. Thanks, thanks very much. Thank you, Anders. And our next candidate to speak is Clay uh, Basinowski. Clay? Good evening. My name is Clay Basinowski. I'm a man raising a young family in Chatwin, and I feel very lucky to be doing so. We recently entertained the possibility of moving to a larger community. We couldn't bring ourselves to leave Chatwin, though. It was at this time that we realized that we're here to stay, and I decided I want to play a larger role in this community. I've worked in management at West Fraser for more than 18 years, so I'm no stranger to planning and budgeting. Past councils have taken part in providing us with a state-of-the-art recreation centre that I know my family uses more days out of the week than we don't. We have great walking trails that we all see put to use on a regular basis. We have many parks for kids to play at, and many, many family events and activities to take part in throughout the year. I believe in living a healthy lifestyle, and I see this throughout Chetwin as well. I see people who walk, run, exercise regularly. I see a town that's quite fit and active, and this is in part due to the resources available to us, like the rec centre and the walking trails. When we considered moving to that larger town, I went to their gym and felt that ours was much better. We saw the swimming pool and felt that ours was much better. We looked at all the parks at all the playgrounds, which is a big deal to a little eight-year-old girl, <laughs> and ours were all better. We didn't look at the library, and that's only because we knew that for sure that ours would be better. What we have in Chetwin I don't believe is normal for a town this size. Are there things that we could use or things that we need? Absolutely, but what town can say that? But Chetwin is a great place to live and to raise a family, and other people have to know it. The people earning money around here and living in camps and hotel rooms while their families live elsewhere have to know this. Our council, I believe, has historically done great things for us and I want to be a part of maintaining that and building on to what they've already accomplished. Chetwin has a lot to offer a wide spectrum of people. I'd like to be a voice for all of them, of course gravitating to the interests of young families, but above all else, to the interest of what's best for Chetwin as a community. I'd like to thank my nominator, Brock Crothers and Lou Serrares. I'd like to thank my wife, Diane, for being so encouraging and helpful and supportive through all this. Thanks, honey. And I'd like to thank Tanya and the Chamber for putting this event on tonight, and I'd like to thank all of you for coming out, and I look forward to speaking with you at the tables. Thank you, Clay. Our next uh, speaker is uh, Dale uh, Tremblay.
Thanks, Tom. Ah, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I am Dale Dromley. I've been here for 37 years, and I see a gentleman that I used to work for down on table four, Mr. Lasser. I, uh, when I first came here, I worked for camp for the first year and didn't care for it. So I went to work for the village of Chetland then. I worked for a year and a half before I went back into the uh, union work. After that, I came back and I worked for uh, West Fraser or Chetland Forest Industries for 25 years. I retired two and a half years ago. I'm really looking forward to serving the community if I do get elected in. Uh, my wife's been here longer than that. She's been here 45 years and uh, we did raise our kids here. They're not with us anymore, unfortunately. Uh, we can't get them to move back here, but we're still working on it because of our grandkids. We're very family orientated. Um, I look forward to Chetland every day when I get up. We've been here for so long, there's so much to do. We've got a great future here. If Site C does go, we're going to be a bigger hub than ever because we've always been a hub. We're the first stop to the north in any direction you go, Hudson Hope, Dawson Creek. And uh, I really, really want to work on that. We have to get more planning for more housing and stuff like that. And with that, I'm looking forward to all our table talk coming tonight. So thanks very much with the candidates. Good luck to you. I look forward to working with all the winners. I'm hoping to one of them. Thank you. Thank you, Dale. Our next uh, speaker is Alex Brownlee. You won't need that. Okay. <laughs> I'm not known for long-winded speeches, I can tell you that. <laughs> right? Hi, I'm Alec Brownlee. Of course, I'm running for council, and uh, I'd, I'd like to say more, but I, with all the speeches that come ahead of me, what can I say? Uh, I'm looking forward to working with... Uh, Again, whoever uh, wins in the election, hope I'm one of them. And uh, if I'm not, uh, as long as everybody gets out to vote. Thanks. Thank you, Thank you Alex. And our last speaker is Rochelle. No. Thank you, Don. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen and fellow candidates. My name is Rochelle Galbraith. I've been a part of this community growing up, living and working here for 46 years. And Gordy and I, my husband, has uh, we've lived within the municipality for 23 years. We've raised both of our children here and we've enjoyed everything that Chetland has had to offer us. And we've lived through the ups and downs uh, that this community has endured. I've been involved in many clubs and organizations in Chetland, as well as volunteered as the deputy coordinator for the municipal emergency plan for eight years. My um, experience working in the public sector has given me the expertise in developing budgets and working within them where communication is essential and problem solving is key. And having been a part of an education council has given me the experience working with a board and within ministry guidelines to develop policies, bylaws, educational goals and strategies to better enhance the function of the organization. And for the last three years I've had the pleasure of serving you as counselor for the District of Chetland. And during those three years, I've had the opportunity to get a better understanding of local government and how it affects the decisions we make and, and how we do business. So I've demonstrated my commitment and passion for my res uh, responsibilities, as well as I've dedicated my time and energy needed to address the issues we face on a daily basis and to ensure the decisions we made are in the best interest of the taxpaying citizens of Chetland. So I can't tell you in three minutes of all of our accomplishments over the last three years, but what I can tell you is this. And with the support of our staff at the district office, Mayor and Council have worked together constructively and cooperatively with many different perspectives around the table and a whole lot of conversation to make the decisions we've made today. And I can also say that we haven't done this alone because we have listened to the citizens of Chetland, whether it be through public forums, emails, phone calls, or conversations in passing, we've heard you, so I want to thank you for being interested and caring enough to help make a difference and to help us move forward to a more viable and sustainable community. 
So I have with me tonight my brochures that tell me a uh, little bit more about myself, the committees I've been appointed to, and um, my contact information because I truly do <laughs> Sorry, I truly do want to hear from you. So um, on that note, I'm looking forward to this evening, um, the questions and the conversations, and thank you. Thank you, Rochelle. Uh, we'll now go into the uh, speed forum. The candidates, uh, if you can go to your respective table, and once everybody sat down, uh, we'll start the clock again, and you'll have 15 minutes to answer questions and comment on, on whatever. So.